Good morning, friends. Happy fucking Sunday, and welcome to a super quick episode of Crystal Makes You the Smoke Session, because I'm only going to smoke a bowl. Um, and because my phone is already at 11%, because I forgot to plug it in last night, because I suck. I was so tired last night, you guys. So yesterday, uh, yesterday I, I knew I wanted to do something with the kids, right? Essentially, I wanted to take them out like for like a weekend trip or something, but because their dad's an idiot, it was just not an option. Um, so I ended up, um, I ended up fucking, um, going on my Facebook page, right? I was fucking checking Facebook in the morning. It's just what I do. Look at this fucking killer hair right now, folks. Boss. Um, and my fucking friend, Birdo. My fucking friend, Birdo, he, uh, posted that he was going to be, he's a toy seller. He sells toys. Um, so he posted that he was going to be selling in Capitola at the mall for this Connecticon, right? And I, and I'm like, okay, that's dope. And I'm like, you know what? That's what we're doing. Like last time he was here, he was out in the Saramonte uh, fucking mall, which is hell closer to me. But I was like, I'll go visit him. So I did that. Went out there and visited him, picked up a fucking item, um, walked away some happy campers, was able to see like R2D2. Like it was a cool little fucking thing. It was fun. So, um, yeah, after that, so we got up, fucking, didn't leave till, like, 1, but got out there around 3, um, and then we, <coughs> <coughs> went to the Capitola Beach afterwards, because I was really trying to fucking go to the Capitola Beach, where you can see all of the colorful houses, right, but fucking, it was cold as fuck outside, and, like, um, we ended up going for, like, a little sunset stroll, and it was beautiful. It was super nice. Um, and then by the time we were done, I dropped off. It was so funny, because I dropped off him, and I was like, bitch, it's only 7.30. And she was like, I know. She's like, I just can't wait to get home and get into bed. And I was like, oh, my God, we're old, bitch. Like, because that's all I want to do, right? I'm fucking tired. Fucking tired. So... <sighs> Um, <coughs> so we get home, it's fucking time for bed, the kids are fucking tired, we fucking get fast food on the way home, right, we, like, just pick up some Burger King, and I'm just like, oh man, like, this is just not, like, not even good to me, I'm just like, oh, gosh, I shouldn't even even eaten it, made my stomach hurt this morning, uh, made me fucking go to the bathroom at fucking 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.22 I got up to piss, and by 5.30 I was like, ooh, I need to fucking go to the bank and shit, like, oh, man, is Burger King. So no more of that shit for me because my body just doesn't like it. But, um, yeah, so <sighs> got home and we were all like in bed last night by like eight, fucking exhausted, man. Fucking so tired. Um, and then I realized that gas is going up to like fucking seven bucks a gallon. It's like five, it was like 589 or some shit. And I'm like, bro. Like, I'm going to L.A. next week, so my plan is to literally just fucking, um, just fucking, what is the word? My plan is to fill up today, because I don't know how much more expensive gas is going to get throughout the week, and fucking just sit on a full tank, just top this bitch off and not even give a fuck. Because I'm going to L.A. next week. And that's it. And I may be driving to Oakland for an interview. I don't really know. At this point, I'm going to be like, you know, gas is kind of expensive. I'm kind of budgeting. You know, like, I'd prefer to do a Zoom link at this point. But I don't know if it would show more incentive. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We'll see. When I used to work in Oakland, they used to give us a $250 fucking commuting fucking pass, right? Like, basically, we had up to 250 bucks to fucking spend on commuting. Um, because you, if you drove, they would give you a parking pass, and the parking pass is worth... Two, the, to have a parking spot in our parking garage was 250 bucks a month, right? But the company paid for it. So instead of... So for the people who didn't, right, they thought it wasn't fair, so they fucking gave us 250 bucks. So all we had to do then was show us... Or was show them our fucking statement... Uh, when we got there, um, or of like the days that we paid and how much we paid and they would reimburse us for it. So it was dope. It was super convenient. 
uh, honor clipper card, clipper card pass. <sighs> so, I'm hoping this new job does the same, but we'll see. And I'm super stoked because, well, you know, during the end of the interview, I don't know if I told you guys, I don't know what I tell you guys and what I tell Ray, so just bear with me. Um, so I fucking told them that I had, what is the word? Mm, I told them I had something going on and then it led to something else and then that was it. So there was that. Oh yeah. Told them I had fucking blue hair. And she, I was just like, uh, cause I was like, if we do an in-person interview, like, I just want to let you know ahead of time, you know, I'm like, but I can take care of it. And before I even could finish my, like, spiel that I had ready for her, she's like, don't worry about it. Our other paralegal has pink hair. And I'm like, yes, thank you. You know why? Cause the culture of our Oakland environment is very different than our San Francisco office. And I'm like, you know why? Because I'm sure San Francisco is more like business professionals. Like, we have fucking the financial district over there. We have shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <clears throat> it's probably an issue, but now it's not. So, I'm like, well, if I get the job, guess who's touching up their motherfucking hair? You guys see those fucking grays? Do you guys see the grays here? That is wisdom from my ancestors. <laughs> I obviously won't color my hair blue forever. But I could. Some bitches dye their hair black for fucking ever. Or they're fucking red for years. Oh gosh, I could never do the red thing. Rihanna really just like made that a staple in fucking women's hair color culture in the fucking 2000s. I was like, mm. I had a pink, but I didn't do red. Yeah. I don't know, it just wasn't a look for me. I've had my hair purple. Purple fades super quick. I've had my hair blue. Blue lasts the longest. That shit just, like, I haven't touched up the blue on this side, and it's still blue. Not super vibrant or anything, but it's still blue. This color fades to green. And uh, pink fades to orange. So, you know, these are my experiences on the color spectrum. All right, my bowl is done. I'm super motivated right now. I finally am, like, ready to clean my fucking room. See, now that I'm done smoking, I fucking put my fucking chapstick on. So that's why I got here yesterday. Quick little brief update. I'm cleaning my room today. The kids don't have school tomorrow, so I'm going to clean their room probably. I think I'm going to fucking try to have, um... Oh, there it's so I think I'm going to try to have, um, like a little, like, cake for Ava today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll fucking see. But for now, bitches, I'm fucking out of here. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for socializing with me. All the things. Oh, no. And you have a super duper swell Sunday.